All right, everybody, welcome back to NC17. I'm Josh, aka Crazy J, and today we have a very special guest the one, the only, the Miss Beautiful Jessica Carter. How are you doing? Hi, I'm good. How are you doing? I'm good. Good. You may have uh, seen her on the cover of Maximum Magazine and Ink Magazine, and well, uh, how did you come about being uh, on the cover of Maximum? So it's kind of a funny story. So it, it was during the pandemic, everything was shut down, and boredom i was like sitting on my sitting in my bed eating a bunch of snacks scrolling through instagram and i had saw that they were they were hosting this contest and i was like okay like scroll 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 came up like three or four times so i was like i've got some pictures i'll submit oh, yeah. so i ended up just submitting and getting into the contest and after the first round i was like i think i'm actually like gonna you know do this oh, yeah. so i got all my friends and family on board and ended up winning the competition and so it was something I was doing during the pandemic just to keep me from going stir crazy oh yeah yeah that, hey that's a good thing we all we all need something right yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah. uh how about ink magazine how do you get on the cover of them so immediately following the maxim one um I had a bunch of people sending me the link they were like you should do this one too you can totally get it and I was like eh, I, don't, I don't know if like lightning's gonna strike twice that soon you know but I ended up submitting late um, well, I submitted on time and I didn't post it or anything, but then, you know, halfway through the first round, I was like, you know, uh, you know what, whatever, like I'll give it a whirl and, uh, ended up just kind of, you know, doing the same thing, kind of keeping the same momentum and all the same people were, you know, rooting for me because they're like this one, I mean, Maxim is amazing, iconic, right. yeah. but Inked definitely is more suited and tailored for somebody who looks like me. Yeah. Yeah. You mean beautiful because that's what you are. Thank you. <laughs> Uh, so you got a love of horror movies? Yes. How that was actually the entire reason that I'm here is, um, I, I know, uh, Tommy who hosts Motor City Nightmares very well and I've always loved horror movies. So I used to just attend this convention. I've gone, I think almost every year except for like once in the, for like a decade. Oh, dang. So yeah, I'm super into horror. I, the first time I got into this convention i remember i think tony todd was the first celebrity that i actually like spoke to oh. and uh, i lo like i love candy man but oh, yeah. um yeah it was so i walked to his table i walked away i walk back and i'm like <laughs> this man used to terrify me as a child <laughs> but um yeah everyone is super nice and super cool so it's it's like my little slice of nerdery it's like a dr little little dream bubble so oh yeah 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 I, uh, so I had some, uh, people ask me online cause we, you know, advertise, like yeah. they asked, what was your first tattoo? My first tattoo was the tramp stamp, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> but it, but it was, um, I was 16. I got it, uh, at a shop called American Graffiti. I think they're still open there in Brighton. Oh yeah. Um, yeah, it was just a Chinese symbol, very Ooh. telling of the time, I guess that oh, was, yeah. you know. Oh, yeah. Uh, a long time ago. They also asked what's your favorite tattoo. Favorite tattoo is actually this one. Um, it is, put it up here. It is Akasha oh, from Queen of the Damned. Um, oh, yeah. So I did a rendering of that. Um, my artist in Detroit, he's wildly talented. He's done almost, I mean, probably like 75 to 80% of my tattoos also has a love for horror so when we were doing this sleeve i was like this is so like we have so much conversation about the films and stuff too so it's like yeah yeah uh do you have any future like upcoming events or anything um what do i have actually tommy just uh let myself and my friend kitty um and that she wants us to play a role in I think it's the movie is either going to be called Slasher Sisters or Slaughter Sisters, but we're, we're going to be casted oh, as okay. that. So I'll be doing my my first movie, my first horror film. Oh yeah, so, super excited! That should be in the fall is when she wants to film. Oh okay. Well, yeah. when it comes out, I definitely will be checking that out. Yep. Yeah. Be, be gentle. It's my first time, so. Hey, <laughs> it's all good. We all, we all got to start somewhere, right? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> uh, just a couple more questions. Yeah. Uh, What's the your favorite horror movie? Hellraiser 2. Hellraiser 2? Hands down. Yeah. 
I li like I like the first one because it sets up the whole story, but the second one has all the action and it has like the artistry that went into it. Because a lot of those films, they like CGI was not a thing. Yeah. So those artists, they like slaved and made everything. They painted everything. Oh. Um, so I really like that one. I think it has really cool creatures in it, and they're more present in that movie too. Because the first one, you get like tiny nuggets. Oh. But the second one, it's like monsters the whole time. Oh yeah, so, yeah. yeah. And now, uh, last question: When's the next time you think you'll grace the cover of a magazine? Yeah, and I'm gonna try like hell to get as many as I can. Um, oh yeah. I would love like there's a couple of publications that I that I would love to get on. I mean, obviously, I would I would love to do Maxim again. I would love to do Inked again. Um, there's a Vegas publication um, that I'm that I'm in, but I didn't get the cover of. So now my goal is to get, get the, the cover. cover. I'm like I have I have a nice spread in it, but oh, yeah. Yeah. I, like I see cover. you brought a magazine. Would you like to it. show it? Yeah. And if you could go into detail about the, about the shoot. Yeah. So we actually we did this shoot in Scottsdale at the it's called the Brexley. It's a really rad Air, uh, Airbnb and it's a house that they completely decked out so all of it was kind of funny because all of the, us we shot no. we never met each other uh, everyone who was in like the top four so we all did the same same house same pool they timed it out so everybody was just like ships in the night um, oh, yeah. but yeah it was beautiful beautiful setting all right. so, that's nice yeah. Uh, is there any place that people can find you on social media if you'd like to plug anything? Yes, of course. So um, I have Instagram. Um, my is that a tag name? I don't even know what to call it. Tag, tag. name <laughs> uh, is Jess underscore E K K A Y. Um, careful, there is one fake account, <laughs> so <laughs> it's not me. But that um, I have Facebook. I don't really go on it that often. Um, TikTok. I think I have four TikToks. If you want to see pictures of my dogs, that's huge. Oh, yeah. So. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right. Well, I want to thank you for the time. Yes, thank you. And uh, again, like I say, you're my first uh, major interview, so appreciate it. Yeah. You know, and Open Talk 313 The Flash also thanks you, and you're, you always have a home with NC17. Thank you. All right. You guys, stay NC17, and we will see you later.